Welcome to Max on the Block. Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to say thank you for all of you that have been watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Guys, if you're new here, please do subscribe as well, guys. Make sure to not miss out on any of the content. So today's topic is going to be stable coins. What are stable coins and what are some of the benefits and disadvantages? So first of all, a stable coin is basically a cryptocurrency that is pegged to either a currency or an asset, a commodity. So that might be the euro, the US dollar or the pound or something like oil, gas, gold, something like that, guys, right? The whole idea of stable coins is that we get the same benefits as a cryptocurrency in the sense that, you know, it's private, it's secure, it's transparent, and it gives us the benefit without the volatility. As we know, cryptocurrencies can be very volatile, right? They can have price increases of 30% in one day, or price decreases in one day as well. So the whole idea of stable coins is that we get the whole benefit without that crazy volatility. Now, a good example of why stable coins can be useful is basically imagine that you're at the grocery store and you buy yourself a couple goods worth 30 euros. As you're buying it and you do the transaction, you pay the 30 euros and about 10 minutes later, the price of let's say Bitcoin goes up 30%. That does happen, it's very volatile. So when that happens, you obviously feel bad because now you've paid for something a lot more than you wanted to because now 10 minutes down the line, you would have paid less, right? But obviously it didn't go in your favor. And now obviously this can happen with the merchant too. So let's take another perspective where you go to the store and buy the same goods for 30 euros the merchant takes that 30 euros at that moment, but 10 minutes later or half an hour later, all of a sudden price of Bitcoin falls by 30%. Now all of a sudden your 30 euros become 20 euros. Now obviously that's upsetting as well because there's no stability and obviously for a store it's a bit of an issue. So then stable coins come into play. And the whole idea here is that both parties can exchange a certain transaction without having to feel scared or nervous about is it worth spending my money now is bitcoin going to go up or down and instead of that your mind is at ease just because you have more stability now you know that the 30 dollars that you pay now will remain 30 dollars for a very long time and pretty much will stay one to one right now obviously there's some benefits and some disadvantages to using stable coins so first of all like we said the whole concept is that it's stable and that we can use it in terms of trade much more easier and regularly and our mind is at ease. So what I mean here is that we have a carefree experience when using it. We can transact with each other and we don't have to worry about the price going up or down, right? And this is very beneficial for both parties. The next thing is obviously it's also easy to liquidate. So what I mean here is that the volume of trade is very high. It's very popular in demand and you can very easily buy and sell it when you know when when you're in a situation where you need to exchange cryptos into something more stable and the best example here is that you know if we're seeing a market where the prices are going up and down like crazy right and we have a certain amount of bitcoin right now that we're not trading what we can do in this case is that we can actually buy into the stable coin and hold it for a certain amount of time until we see that market conditions are better for us. Because obviously some people get nervous, start panicking, and they wanna sell and get rid of whatever what they have because they see the price dropping. Now, you don't have to do that because you can actually now just store your assets on a stable coin, right? So you can buy into a stable coin and wait out that volatility. It's great because it's basically giving you an escape route to that market and that's very important as well guys because due to all the panicking and the human emotions stablecoin is a great alternative to keep your assets safe for the time being now obviously we have to look at it from both angles so now some of the disadvantages now first of all 
The problem with some stable coins is that their supply is manipulated or can be manipulated. What I mean here is that if there's very high trading going on, even for the stable coin, because the market conditions are pretty bad, this means then that the price of that stable coin might go up 10% or down 10%, right? What then has to happen is that the supply has to be pumped into that coin just so that we balance it out and we have a $1 exchange rate for a stable coin again. And this is a bit risky, right? Because obviously we've seen at times some stable coins go up or down 10%. And this shouldn't really happen because it's kind of a safe storage for when cryptocurrencies are very volatile. The next issue is that it's always possible that apart from the supply being manipulated, the stable coin might not actually be backed by that given asset, you know, whether it's a dollar, whether it's oil or gold. And we have to make sure that so the stable coins that we do put our money into are reliable, secure and stable, right? So always keep an eye out for that as well. Guys, obviously the whole concept of a stable coin is very interesting, is very useful because it obviously provides a great alternative when the markets are up or down or generally when you're trying to exchange goods or services, you know that when you exchange that good or service for a certain price, both of the parties are pretty sure that that price will stay. That price will be constant within a certain range. So you never have that level of regret. So guys, having said this, the concept is great. There's still very much room for improvement. We're still only 10 years into cryptos. So always keep a note of that because it's still new. Because it's still developing, nothing is set and nothing is perfect yet. So having that said, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you learned one or two things along the way. If you guys have, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe as well, and leave some comments for me, guys. The more comments you leave, the more I can engage with my audience. And last but not least, stay safe, stay smart, stay humble, and take care. That's me.